Okay, he's finally gonna tell us. I just know in this no trouble. That's what they said anyway. He's going to discuss what is academic background. Did he go to school? Yeah, definitely. Okay. So the issue of may a man like myself speak in an instructive fashion comes up. I have a bachelor's degree in computer engineering from Michigan. I have a student background in my master's program in business administration. Was your business administration master's completed? No, no it wasn't. I got about a third of the way through but I did not complete the final capstone course so I had my accounting, my marketing, my finance, my information management courses but I did not finish so so when people say tell us about something I use the style that I grew accustomed to in my undergraduate program in my graduate program in business administration I come from a, a family that was academic my mother was a lawyer and my father was a PhD so the PhD in the family would be my father I don't imitate my father I, I rely on my own academic background okay so the issue is, did you go cold to people with a degree PhD? I have a, an, an experience that would lead me to understand and comprehend fully what it means. I support the PhD who completed the bachelor's degree and or master's and then the PhD, but not the master's without the bachelor's. You gotta complete everything to me. Bachelor's, master's, and PhD to comprehend this life. Okay, there are people that say, well, I didn't get the bachelor's, but you're supposed to assume, and I don't, that they could have. No, they couldn't. One of the requirements of being an undergraduate in colleges such as myself would be the calculus requirement. Okay, I finished all my calculus, okay? So, those folks that say, well, I could have, they didn't, okay? It means to me that if you're a bachelor's uh, holder, you have not just your head, you're a person. The wife isn't the person, you're the person as well. They're a person, you're a person. And uh, they also have their hands to the work in progress. A PhD says to you, well, I once worked really intensely with my head and my hands, and now I will just think and instruct the bachelors as to what to do. This couldn't be farther from the truth. In terms of the medical degree, the six-year program that leaves students with a medical degree but no bachelor's troubles me. You see, that life doesn't comprehend why I go through life the way I do. Why doesn't he just sit there, blah, blah, blah? Why is he doing things? Okay, the issue is, and this is really the, the point I wanted to make, the, the PhD and the, the people that never attended college say, aren't you just going through the masquerade of life. No, I'm living life with vital importance and knowing that the decisions I make and the processes I undertake will be in central focus to the nature of living well for all people, improving society and, and being, being there when things happen. Okay, I don't go through the masquerade of life. PhDs that have the bachelor's degree as well as the master's and PhD, they're, they're, they're really good with me. Okay, so when, when I speak and most PhDs hear me, if it's not a smile on your face, you're just a masquerader. Uh, somebody going through that, that doesn't fully comprehend it. So if you have to ask somebody what he is, make sure they have a bachelor's degree at least. Thank you. And no other degree. No, not other degree that covers it, no. Listen, Doc, you may be a doc and you may be smart, but you don't have your bachelor's and you don't comprehend anything, my Bill. You're a masquerader through life. 